goes to the Warriors. Outside, Green. Pass to Pajemski. On the wing, Green. Here's Jackson Davis. On the wing, Curry from deep. Kept alive. Wiggins outside. Here's Pajemski. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And the first one at the line is good. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Vanderbilt's checked in for Hayes. Prince comes in for Achimura. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And it's Dinwiddie in for Russell. The Lakers have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Golden Two for eight. Foul. And that's a foul Stephen called Curry. on Stephen Curry. First personal that's foul. It. First foul. First team foul. There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. Reddish counted. Can't and the Lakers lead by one. Look at Wood finding ways to contribute. Sees an open man and drops a dime. Curry passes to Green. Back to Curry. Green finds Curry. Here's Jackson Davis. Guarded by Wood. Let's it fly. Releases. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Christian Wood picks one up. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. It's not just about forcing a turnover, guys. It's about converting them and those opportunities and cashing them in. They've also been showing a standout play on the fast break, working as a team to create easy opportunities. This team thinks they should be up in front, but at least they tied it up. Vanderbilt, the pass to Reddish. Uses the glass on the layup. Reddish has got four points in the quarter. Great recognition of the mismatch, abusing the smaller defender, Corial. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And again, no good by Golden State. Pass to Sharich over Vanderbilt. Sharich, shot is off. Probably not the shot they had in mind, but you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. <laughs> no debate there. He got answered. And he drops the first. He's off on the second. Outside Peyton. Over Prince. Peyton, no good. We've just finished the third quarter. What a tight game we've got going. Lakers ahead. Up three. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. 43. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. It's the Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. CP3 and Clay team up in the backcourt. Dario Saric is out there with Gary Payton the second. And it's Jackson Davis in at the center position, locking down the middle. That's the Warriors five. Davis against Paul. On the wing, Thompson. Back to Paul. 4-3, and the 
and there's Thompson on the assist from Paul. Thompson's got 24 points. Let me just say this, Clay Thompson is one of about 10 people in NBA history that you do not want to leave open for a three. The defense has to make it harder for him out there. It's Prince on the wing. Here's Reeves. Pure from three-point range. And the Lakers lead by three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. And so Prince will bring it up for the Lakers. Outside Russell. Fires the three. And another three for the Lakers. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Down low. Here's Thompson. The kick out to Paul. Pass to Peyton. Now here's Thompson. Launches a three. Ooh, Thompson. The long-range triple. And defensively, how do you leave him that open in crunch time? Here's Reeves. Oh, the teardrop falls in. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Ball against Russell. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul of the game. And the Lakers making a change here. Hachimura's checked in. Substitution on the court. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Curry. Wiggins finds Thompson. Back to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. Fires from deep. And it's Clay Thompson with the three. Thompson's got nine points here in the second half. He's done so much damage from beyond the arc. And he's still hitting those big shots. And the defense has to know that taking away his three is the number one priority. And he's hurt them all game long. With that shot, it makes no sense. Reeves, the pass to James. LeBron, a smooth operator inside. By How many times Austin have Reeves. we seen LeBron hit a huge bucket in his career? I don't know. I've lost count, but that was beautiful to watch. Wiggins for three. Another three for Golden State. And when they needed him, Wiggins steps up and hands them an important bucket. Pass to Davis. Hachimura left side over Peyton. And it's Hachimura missing. The Warriors have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far on the fourth. Peyton passes to Thompson. Green with the ball. Back to Curry. Thompson outside. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. The Lakers in the lead. 127 left to play in the fourth. James against Thompson. The shot by James. No good. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. Excellent D. Avoided fouling and got in perfect position to alter that shot. Curry passes to Wiggins. Oh! takes the hit and finishes strong. If there is any question about the clutch, Gene, you know Wiggins has it. Pass to Jane. And he lobs it up. Count it. And talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Golden State has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. Here's Curry. Out to Thompson. From downtown. The Lakers with a rebound. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. Like how many times have we seen this before? LeBron James taking over when they needed him most. The three 
from Curry. It falls! Oh! Oh! An enormous three-pointer! You can tell his hustle inspires the entire squad. He really gets everyone so amped up. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. And make some noise for your Warriors dance team. the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. And it's easy to see why they keep getting it to him. Tori. He keeps getting after it on the offensive end and putting in that work. He's been getting good looks and shooting the ball efficiently all night. Brent has checked in for Hachimura. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. I was able to catch the message that Darvin Ham is giving to his team. He told the team he has complete faith in them, saying, we're right there. Now we just got to make that push and really take hold of the game. We can do that. To me, it looked like his players are on the same page with him. Guys, back to you. And Allie, thanks. Russell against Curry. And here's Thompson for three. And buries it from deep. What a big moment for Clay Thompson with the game up for grabs. He comes up huge. Pressure. What is that? The Lakers call timeout. They're losing by one. Just four seconds left in the game. Here's James. And James throws it down. One of the most ferocious dunkers we've ever seen. James still enjoys putting on a show. And the Warriors call time here. They're behind by one. One second left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? They've got one last chance to win it. It's got to be a catch and shoot off the inbounds play. They don't have time for a second pass. For your Dario Shatch. Moses Moody. Here's Curry. It's good. He buried a game winner. Wins the game with nothing but zeros on the clock. Unbelievable. Zeros finish, and they're going to have to carry him off on their shoulders for that one. And so the big win by Golden State in a tight game. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. One of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.